today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best place to grind your levels in Black Myth Wukong. This technique will get you a lot of silk and over 3,000 will per go. Right, so the first thing we need to do is find a location where we're going to be farming the XP. And to do that, we need to go to the upper hollow of the webbed hollow and then just follow this pathway I'm going to be taking right here. I won't be speeding it up, but I do want to show you this first little section because it's easily missed. So once you jump down here, straight ahead of you, you'll see some like wooden planks. You want to jump down there, but you need to also watch the visor arch you out to the right there. So just keep spamming a dodge button to avoid him. Now once you're down here, you want to make a left and then sort of stick to the left as well. And you will find your way out of this cave. You just go through here and you can see that's the way out just through here. So I'm going to speed it up now because it is quite far from here even still. Once you've made it to this point, you just need to do a right and you'll find yourself next to a meditation spot. So you can meditate there if you haven't found it already. And then the shrine in question that we're looking for is right here. And this is where we're going to be doing the XP farming in this cave right here with all these spider sacks. So we're just going to rest up here and this is where we can get set up to do this XP farm. So there's a few spirits that you can use depending on where you are in the game. The lantern holder, for example, moderately increases the will gain. This is very useful if you've got an attack that's pretty high already. If you are slightly underleveled, however, pardon me and I'm going to butcher this name, use the Gore Eye Dowis because he will increase your attack when you're in his circle. But ideally, you want to be using the lantern holder. The next thing you probably want to have equipped is the Gold Florida Hairpin. This is going to double up on the lanterns effect by slightly increasing the will gain from defeating enemies. To find the gold floor of hairpin, you need to come to chapter 2 and speak to the man in stone and you can purchase it off him right here. The next thing we need is the Ashen Slumber Transformation and you can find out how to do that in a short on my YouTube channel. Then finally, I recommend upgrading Rage Burst, which each talent level slightly increases the Scorch damage. I also recommend upgrading the Hidden Might and Ferocious Form, just to make sure you got enough attack for this technique. Now, I might be wrong here, but I've heard that if your attack is over 80, then that is enough for this technique to work. If not, you will have to use the Gore Eye Daoist technique, which we're going to go through right now. So if you're just reaching Chapter 4 and you want to try this XP farm out, you're probably going to have to upgrade the Gore Eye Daoist just so his effect is a lot stronger. Right, so as I just said, we are going to be using the Gore Eye Daoist technique. And what you want to do, you want to run over here and you can see all these spider sacks right here. If you walk in, you'll see two that are quite close together. We're going to drop the Gore Eye Daoist staff right here and then we're going to transform and then we're just going to instantly explode. And that will kill everything around us. And then what we'll do then is just head back towards the shrine, rest and do it again. And as you can see, we've got 2,943 will just from that one explosion right there. Now I'm going to show you the difference if you use the lantern holder instead of the Gore Eye Daoist. So once again, we're going to run over and then instead of putting the spirit out, it's passive. So you don't need to do that. So all you need to do is run in between and then just keep spamming the button until you explode and it'll kill everything around you and you will get a lot more will than you did with the Gore Eye Daoist. But you do need a little bit more attack for this to work. And as you can see, 3096 just off that one explosion. And that's pretty much it. You can just rinse and repeat this technique and you will literally fly up the levels in no time, making this game a little bit easier for you. Let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers now and I can't wait to get there. Thanks to everyone who subscribed already and I will catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.